All right, you guys, I had some questions asking me for help on this problem too, the interpret linear function coefficients. So I wanted to just quickly go through it. Um, so let me go and read the problem for us. It says, Carson needs to lease out a music studio to record his new album. The studio charges an initial studio fee plus an hourly fee. So let's take a look. Um, initial studio fee and an hourly fee for each hour in the studio. The total amount of money Carson would have to pay to use the studio for T hours can be used to, determined using the equation P is equal to 50T plus 100. The question is asking, what is a y-intercept of this equation? And what the What is the interpretation in the context of the problem? So this is really similar to the warm-up we've been doing, right? So let's take a look at this equation. Which, uh, what is a y-intercept in this equation? Y-intercept is 100, right? And then when they're asking, what is the interpretation in the context of the problem? They're asking you, what does that 100 mean in terms of this uh, story about Carson and his music studio? So let's take a look at what it says. It says um, they charge an initial studio use fee. That means to be able to use a studio, like to enter the studio, you have to pay a certain amount of money and then an hourly fee. So per hour that you're using, they are charging you a certain amount of money um, so if you take a look at this equation here, you can see that 50 is being multiplied by T. When it's being multiplied by T, you can tell because T represents hours, that it means you have to pay $50 per hour. Um, and what, that, what does that tell us about the 100? That it means that it's the initial studio use. Oh, give me one moment. I'm going to pause. All right, I had to pause the video for a little bit. I had to answer a question on Zoom. Um, so let's go back to it. So the y-intercept of the function we said is 100, which represents, let's see what options we have. The initial fee, here it is, the last one. So that's it, submit answer. Uh, yes, there you go. Let me erase all of this. I can do one more because I'm, I'm noticing now it's asking for the slope. Um, similar idea though, so let's read it. When Sebastian left his house in the morning, his cell phone battery was partially charged. The charge remaining in cell, um, Sebastian's battery as a percentage can be modeled by B is equal to negative 90 plus 81, where T is the number of hours since Sebastian left his house. What is the slope? of the equation and its interpretation in the context of the problem. So in this equation, slope is negative nine, right? And what are we talking about? We're talking about um, his cell phone battery and how it's dropping, right, after he left his house. So then looking at this equation, right, what does that tell us? T represents the number of hours, right? So then that means um, each hour, his cell phone battery is dropping 9%. And then what does that 81 mean then? 81 means originally when he left his house, his cell phone was at 81%. And then each hour that he's outside, it is dropping by 9%. So we can go ahead and write that. Slope is negative 9, which reveals, um, here it is, the percentage charge that Sebastian's phone loses each hour. That will be your answer. All right, so I went over two problems and hope this helps. Um, if not, just, you know, send me a message on Schoology or send me an email. What would help the most is if you take a screenshot of the problem that you have and send me a message like that, and I can help you um, answer that specific question, I think would be more helpful to you than um, me giving you like a general another explanation because this video is already a general explanation. So if you need additional help, that's what I recommend. Take a screenshot of the problem that you're given, send it to me, and then I will um, come up with an answer and send it back to you. Alrighty, bye-bye.